my creative peeps and welcome back for creative week 92 uh, today we are starting off with a little sketch here as most of you know if you've been with me for a while I do a pen pal swap with a lovely lady named Jenny and we used to send a journal back and forth and do pages in there um, we'd give each other prompts, but now we just swap journal cards. So her prompts for me this time were to draw something I've never drawn before and use the color green. So I decided to draw a dinosaur and a lot of you are going to have a heart attack because of all this COPPA stuff going on. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm not even going to talk about it because there's so much stress and talk involved and I want this video to not be about that. Um, but I'll just say real quick, I am operating as usual until further notice. Um, <laughs> so don't, don't panic. I'm, I'm still here. So I tried a couple different ways to draw this. And when you've never drawn something, um, it's always a challenge and it never really looks right. But I just went with it because this is supposed to be fun. And I pulled out my... Arteza Real Brush Pens, and I'm using those. Funny enough, I'd put them in the D-Stash box, um, and then I saw somebody else using them in their planner. And uh, I don't see many people using them. I see a lot of people reviewing them, but not a lot of people using them. So I felt inspired, and I pulled them out of the D-Stash for this, um, and I really enjoyed using them to color in this little dinosaur here. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I use several other art supplies in this video that I really like, um, like fine liners and stuff. And if you're ever curious as to um, where you can find those, I always have linked in the description my Amazon storefront. Um, I do need to update it, so <laughs> I apologize that it's a little outdated, but. A lot of my favorites are there. I do hope to update that uh, better so that it's easier to navigate. But if you're ever curious about the stuff I use all the time, if you can buy it on Amazon, it's it's on that wish the storefront. So I just colored in. I used a lighter green for kind of the body of her, and then I used a darker green for her kind of little scale things that stick out and a pink color for the eyes and then I'm using the pit artist pens which I absolutely love uh, these are like my holy grail fine liners if I ever need a fine liner this is what I grab for first they're my favorite castell I just have a pack of a bunch of different weights this one here is the medium nib which I really enjoy for nice bold lines it's probably my favorite one and I'm just filling in the eyes there and touching up with some more color. I keep checking to see if I'm using the same brush <laughs> that I was using before. I am using some pretty serious watercolor paper for this. So the color, I don't know. My thing with these is I'm still working on the color lay down. As you saw earlier, I had pulled out Copics and I have a very, very small uh, collection of alcohol markers because I never used them. I, I de-stashed a lot of them uh, earlier this year and I didn't have any greens. So that kind of took care of that because <laughs> I was gonna do uh, the alcohol markers for this, but these worked just as well. I say that, but I really don't know. I have I'm, alcohol markers is not my area of expertise, so don't just ignore the fact that I said that. <laughs> but anyway, we are going in with my favorite paint pens ever. You probably know this by now. These are the Posca paint pens, and I'm just using this white. I have a white and black, and I keep them in my everyday like pencil case thing, and I use them all the time for literally everything. So there's that. I do apologize that my phone went off. It wouldn't be a Leanne video if my phone did not go off, let's be real. So what I'm doing is I'm taking 
some watercolor I just have in this like sample wheel that I bought from an Etsy shop earlier in the year. I can't really remember who, so I do apologize. I think it's my sequins eye. And I'm just making a little background there so he doesn't, she doesn't look so out of place. He, she, I don't know. Whatever they choose to identify as <laughs> this dinosaur. Um, so I'm just creating like a little background there. And like I said, it's not, it's not a masterpiece. It's very juvenile and the proportions are off and the face looks weird because it's like not fully round. But you know what? It's my first time drawing it and sometimes you just got to roll with it and not be afraid to try new things and have it look like garbage and even though it doesn't look perfect I think it's still adorable and I'm still gonna send it to Jenny and I hope she likes it too. I really enjoyed this prompt and challenge from her this time to do draw something I had never drawn before. That was not a prompt I've encountered before so it was lots of fun and I'm just adding a little green colored pencil to kind of smooth out some of those details and add a little extra to it. So now we're going to play in my journal and I'm just pulling out all the things that I need to journal that are kind of time sensitive. I organize all my ephemera into that folder after this, um, so you'll see that in a second and I'll explain more there. But I'm just going and taking all those things and trying to find a place for it. This was a very chill afternoon. I did not feel like talking to anybody. This was intended to be a Patreon video. Usually for Patreon videos on Sundays, I do a real-time journal with me where I just chat and we journal. And this day, I did not feel like chatting at all. I just wanted to journal in like silence. <laughs> I think I had headphones on and I was watching a video, but Sometimes it's nice just to just to sit down for myself. So what I'm doing here is I'm applying some acrylic gouache to cover this paper a little bit and make it so that I can write on it. My first instinct was to use gesso. And the problem with gesso is that it's meant to grab onto other mediums, so it has a very distinct texture to it, which can be difficult to write over and ruin your pen <laughs> sometimes. So instead of using that, I used acrylic gouache, which is an acrylic-based gouache, and it's white. So gouache is mostly opaque. Um, it's like watercolor and acrylic paint had a love child and that's what gouache is. So I will also leave that linked below if you would like. It is a little pricey but I do really enjoy the Holbein acrylic gouache. As you can see it worked really nice to just create that spot and it almost looks watercolory because it's patchy and I really like that. On the bottom there I had put the little screenshot there of a meme for Letter Kenny and I was going to write about the new season because me and my boyfriend watched that. And then I'm adding this tip in here. This is a piece of acetate with one of the Halloween bugs on it. I know it's not Halloween anymore but I really like this and I find a lot of the times when I make journals with things I really like or seasonal things or just I don't know. I, they don't end up in my journal. I don't know why. So I'm glad I finally put one of these in here. It only took like two years. <laughs> and if you're curious, I did finally, in case you missed it, upload my tip in masterclass to Etsy. So you can now buy it on Etsy instead of taking it on Skillshare. You can still take it on Skillshare. And if you would like to get two months free, you can find the link below, but it's also on Etsy. And right now I'm having an early bird sale until the end of the year. So it's 50% off until the end of 2019. So if you want to snag that, go ahead and do that. I've already gotten some feedback um, and people are really enjoying it. So I do appreciate that. 
And I also wanted to mention while we're on the topic of Etsy that I have created a newsletter. It is the Creative Peep Insider. I really wanted a place to be able to share with you guys everything that's going on. I know not everyone subscribes to all the platforms and I would never expect anyone to. And I really want to make sure that everybody's getting the same notifications like, hey, this is uh, when the journal release is going out or the sale is going on or here's what I'm posting over on Patreon or this is what I have up on YouTube. Um, maybe I'm loving new products and I want to share those with you. I just want to be able to have a way to communicate with all of my Patreon peeps uh, without you having to be on a certain platform and missing out. So the sign up for the newsletter is in the description box below. I will be sending out a email on Tuesday the 26th with a special coupon code that you can use for Black Friday in my Etsy shop. So if you want that, you can check out there. Otherwise, um, just subscribe for the updates. <laughs> I won't flood your inbox, I promise. I plan not to do it more than once a week and it'll probably be only like once or twice a month if I know myself. But just wanted to let you guys know about that. So back to what I'm doing. I am journaling this picture of the lake here. I had put on the acetate thing a little meme that said, um, everybody's like, ooh, Halloween decorations are out. And I'm like, ooh, regular house decorations are on sale. <laughs> and I just thought it was perfect because I love Halloween decorations. And I think stuff like that should be up all year round. So that was on there, and then this photo of the lake here, I really wanted it to be like a smaller page, so I just stuck the lake picture on there and then cut around the page and made it like a mini page, which was really fun. Then I have these two photos here. I uh, give a gift to my landlord or housemate or whatever you want to call her for her birthday. And I had really fun putting the basket together so I wanted to document that in here. So I'm just backing those photos there with this double sided tape, best double sided tape ever. Link is on Amazon. It's like you get like six rolls for like eight bucks and it's just, it's the best. So anyway, <laughs> in case you were wondering there, I'm just putting these photos on here. I took a picture of the basket that I put her gift in and then I took a picture of the stuff that I put in the basket. And there we go, just stuck that on there. And then I'm pulling out this, a lot of people ask me where this sticker organizer is from. It's from Michael's. Uh, it's hard to find, but they do have it online. I don't remember what it's called, um, but it is pretty nice. It just doesn't hold a lot of the size stickers that I have. Like I have to cut stickers down to fit in it because it's for a very specific small size. I know that uh, Courtney from Little Raven Inc. she found like a dupe for it. Uh, she lives in Australia, so I don't know exactly where she got it, but I do know that you, there is a dupe floating out there for those of you who don't have Michaels. So maybe message her on Instagram and see where she got it or something. So then I'm taking my Dina Wakely Media Sticks and my Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2s, and I'm doing this technique, which is also from Courtney over at Little Raven Inc. conveniently. And basically, to make these like faux rose flower things, she just lays down a little squiggly thing of watercolor and then she will draw some squiggly lines over it and it looks like a flower. And I was having a lot of fun doing this technique. I wanted to try it out. So that's what I did. And I don't know why I mixed yellow and blue for that flower because we all know yellow and blue makes green and I don't know. It looks weird, but it's okay. So here I am just breaking those colors up. Again, if you want links to these things, they'll be down below. <laughs> I really enjoy these crayons or whatever you want to call them. They're not like 
they're technically wax pastels, I guess, but they're unlike any other wax pastels I've used before. I hate wax pastels, let's be honest, but these are not like that at all. They don't feel like that. You can't smudge them. They're just like a water-soluble crayon, which is what I've been looking for my whole life, so those are really fun to use. And then we go into the organizing of the ephemera. So I got this portfolio again on Amazon. Um, it came from overseas, so it did take a little bit to get here, but it was only like six bucks. And it's A5 size. It's supposed to be like a presentation portfolio, but it works. So what I did was I took my giant bin of ephemera that I had been collecting things in. A lot of the times my stuff gets out of hand because I more comes in than I can journal with and then I lose sight of it all and it's hard to figure out what needs to go in my journal that's time sensitive and what's from pen pals and what's just for fun and all that other stuff. So I went and I sorted all of my ephemera from there. So I have one sleeve for magazine clippings. I have some different sleeves for like quotes and things. There's other sleeves for like die cut stickers that I need to put in there. I made a sleeve for tip-ins. There's a sleeve for a uh, happy mail that I need to journal with. Um, just, and then I also made one for photos I've printed out that aren't exactly time sensitive. They're just, I want to put them in my journal eventually. So that one in a different pocket than all the other stuff. It seems a little confusing, but it made sense to my brain and that's really all that matters. I also shoved some miscellaneous things in there. Like you'll see me put in a little collage bundle. I had made the collage and then didn't stick it down of like the girl with the wings you can see on the right. So I gave her her own pocket so that when I'm ready to stick it in, I have all the collage bits I intended. And I put those there. I don't, I put a bunch of photos, like um, vintage photos that I wanted to put in. I made a pocket for a vellum envelope and then there's the random journal bits. It's just, <laughs> it's just my attempt at staying on top of things. Uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying that. I didn't do it in this video, but I did make a the sleeve in the very back for my overflow journal. So that's been working out really well too. And yeah, I'll leave this linked in my Amazon store as well, but really, really fun, handy little folder to have all of my stuff organized in. And I believe that's it, you guys. Um, you can watch me organize a few other bits, like my stickers and stuff, but that's pretty much all I have for you today. Thank you guys so much for watching. A huge thank you to my patrons for being awesome and supporting my work and allowing me to create free videos over here on YouTube. They're not just patrons, they're definitely my creative friends and you guys are as well and I so appreciate all of you. Um, you really make what I do and sharing what I do lots of fun and I love talking to you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Whether you're a patron or just a watcher or a lurker or whatever. <laughs> And if you're new, I hope you stick around um, and subscribe. I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. And if I don't talk to you until then, I hope you have a fantastic holiday next week if you celebrate Thanksgiving. All right. Thanks, everybody. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.